Hello, everyone. I'm coming to you live here from uh, just outside of Fairbanks, Alaska, right? Yeah. And I have here, we're on a tour, on a riverboat tour, and we stopped here. And I met this amazing young woman, Danielle. And Danielle, tell us, tell us a little bit about um, the, uh, the village you grew up in and okay. what you're doing now. Um, so my dad is from the village of Galena, which is a... Oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> my dad is from the village of Galena, which is a pretty larger village. It's one of the largest villages in Alaska, and his whole, his whole family still lives there. My grandma lives there, and all my aunties and uncles on my dad's side still live in that village because they it's just easy for them to live. They have, they have all the resources. They have two stores. And then on my mom's village, that's a really different story. There's no store there. There's no running water either. And so we just have electricity, and... In this world, that's kind of hard to live in now. <laughs> so her village is very small, and only less than 50 people live there year-round. But in the summertime, a lot of us live a subsistence lifestyle. So we go back for the fishing, and then the village goes to be about 300 in the summertime. And what are you doing now? How did you sort of get out of that living? And your university? Yeah. 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 Today is because in the late 90s, my the school closed down in my mother's village. So, of course, my grandmother couldn't raise her. All, she has eight kids. She couldn't raise all of them. And she's a single mom. So she couldn't raise all of them without bringing them to school. She couldn't do homeschool. And she actually worked at the school. So she was left with no job. So she brought all her kids to the city. And that's where I was born. And that's where I was raised. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. So what was so exciting to me is really uh, learning about Danielle and what she's doing now. And as you all know, I'm a college uh, admissions expert. And so she's just finished her first year at University of Alaska at Fairbanks. So tell us what you're studying and what your future plans are. Um, right now I'm studying social work and I'm going to be a social worker for my native people. Well, my main focus is the children because... I think everyone knows, well, not everyone knows, but in Alaska, our main problem for Native people right now is the drinking. Oh, so right. that's one of the main problems we have. That's the highest, that's the most leading death cause for Natives is drinking. And so, I mean, a lot of the mothers get into drinking. They can't take care of their kids. And about 60%, I think, well, most people in the foster care system are Native children. Mm, wow. And so... That's a big thing, and a lot of them, a lot of them don't really end up with uh, their relatives or anyone, so they lose their culture and they kind of grow up in only a Western sense. They don't really have any contact with their culture, which is very sad because we still don't have. I mean, today, like, there's people like us doing stuff like this, but a lot of our culture is lost, and I feel like it's getting just way worse with the kids not growing up with any. Because I mean, foster parents, you know, like they're doing their best, but they can't really teach them the culture they don't know, so. So, sorry. <laughs> We're tangled. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of the best messages today is, I'm going to try to get a better shot. Um, one of the best messages today is that really, that no matter where you are, no matter what um, culture or you're from, that you can sort of do something to improve it. And that is exactly what Danielle is doing um, to improve her, her you know, preserve her culture. She's a tour guide here showing us um, and, and keeping her native culture intact and t teaching everyone to follow. So anyway, wherever you are, may you have a happy and sunny day. And let's all learn from Danielle and keep... Um, um, the legacy of our you know, past, um, be in the present, and really learn to make our future better. All right. Bye-bye.